What a happy and pleasant Christmas episode in anime we've ever seen in SAO, man. God damn. Sachi gave us a nice Christmas gift. We're gonna have a nice family together. It's like they're dead. Everybody's dead. Everyone that we love and we know are dead, except Kyle. Kyle's cool, and Asuna's around too. Now, Kyle is Clyde, Clyde, by the way. Sachi showed up in one episode. And immediately, like, the death flags are there. So I was, like, memeing, because, like, I'm not going to get attached to this character. It's going to hurt when she dies inevitably. And when she actually... The, the emotional impact at the end actually pretty hit hard. Not during the death itself, but after that, and seeing the delayed, like, time, you know, time capsule present of her singing and saying, if you listen to this, I'm probably dead by now, but let me sing you a song. It's like, oh, my God. Oh my fucking god, bro. It is so depressing right now. I didn't sign up for this shit, but surely Asuna will save Kirito, right? Let's begin today's reaction, though. February 23rd, 2024. Sorry, you guys can't see the subs right now because it's positioned down because of the way that the dates are done. But it's basically 35th floor, and they're asking, what do you need healing for? Uh oh <laughs> Lolly versus MILF? I, I do have a soft spot for crazy bitchy MILF types like this. She's like multi and shield hero. Red haired, crazy bitch. Yes, I hate them, but like, they're so hot. Some dispute happening here between this, these two. Oh, I guess she's a big deal. Silica's a big deal, and the red girl's not gonna get any party invites. Oh, it's her again, the Lolly. Look at the danger, guys. Wow, I have never seen such gat in my life. Did you see this? Did you see this? Why is her ass shaved? You, you ever, I, I always wondered, well, why is the monkey gat shaved? Holy shit, he does not skip leg day. Oh my god, my man is bricked up that dumpster gat dumpy on a fucking Tuesday just hanging out there. They, they just shaved his ass? They, 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 why, why did they shave it? Why is there no fur? What, what is the biological reasoning? Why did monkeys evolve to have their ass just like bare? I don't get it. I, I, I don't. Heal. Damn, Silica. That little familiar is OP. Uh-oh. Kirito, save her. Where are you? No shot. He just dies like this. Kirito. No! That's fucked up. That's actually fucked up. Familiar. It's it's a familiar, right? So it, we can get a different one, but it's not gonna be Pina again. Honestly, I might feel a little bit worse for Pina than Sachi. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Cause I was shitting on Sachi so much, but I didn't have my guard for Pina like that. Kirito! Kirito! They just all die like that. Uh what? Bro, could you not have shown up fucking 30 seconds earlier? What is wrong with you? You could have saved Pina. What is wrong? Whatever. Whatever. Pina's dead. You got Kirito now. He looks pretty edgy as usual. That eyes are dead. Pina. Link start. Oh, fuck me. It's like a pet dying, man. Pets dying is so sad. Yeah, it's Pina that you could have saved if you arrived fucking 10 seconds earlier. <laughs> Ten seconds! Ten seconds! What were I bet you were watching it from behind the trees, bro! Nah! Bro was waiting for Pina to die. Bro was probably like, hmm, you haven't experienced death like I have. All my friends are dying. I hope Pina dies, then I'm gonna save you. <laughs> yeah, what were you doing out here with three monkeys, man? What are you doing? Alright. Are we friends now? Are you saying we can resurrect Pina? Cause she's a familiar, but she's different. I don't know, Pina's soul. Pina will come back as Pina Colada. Now that's kind of bullshit because they said there's no way to resurrect people. Kayaba straight up says, you know, in the first episode, all methods of resurrections are gone. But it turns out, hey, actually there's this one St. Nicholas, you know, event item that if you catch someone dying within 10 seconds, you can resurrect. It's like, oh, cool. And now it's like, yeah, this is not a human. This is a familiar, right? But still, it's, 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 yeah, it's people versus familiar, but still, you know what I mean? It's still resurrection. Hill of memories. 
実費だけもらえれば俺が行ってきてもいいんだ。<笑> If you got money, you pay me. <笑>あ,あ、because she's a beast tamer, she's pretty important, yeah. Oh god, there's a three day limit. Oh no, we gotta get going now. <laughs> Got a new familiar. <laughs> I'm so mean. Three days, yeah, we can do it. Oh, 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 Ebon Dagger, Threat Armor, these are so private. Oh, oh, okay, she's. Kirito's actually kind of boosting her. What a nice guy. Right. Yeah, why? Is he just down bad? What is it? Because he couldn't save his friends before, so now there's a chance for Silica to be saving her familiar? What is it? Alright, well, anime incest? Wow, who, who would have thought, right? Who, who would? I, I know it's not incest here. I know it's not. She's just saying, you look like my sister. But, like, how many animes have you seen where it's just like the Siscon Brocon incest thing is just always prevalent, huh? Kirito is an incestual lolicon. Confirmed? Okay, all right. Cool. She's like, you're so silly. <laughs> oh, I don't find you weird at all, even if you find it sexually stimulating that I look like your little sister. Oh, what are you giving me? Money? Is the main person that handles party invite. Isn't she, like, important? Is she in a guild? All right, cool. New friend acquired, Silica. Wait! The catfish couple! So the left guy is the girl, the right guy is the one that's under 17. <laughs> They're still alive. That's amazing that the catfish couple are still alive. That's crazy, dude. Got Kirito now. These fucking creeps. These are also lollicons. This straight up. These are fucking lollicons. And yes, thank you for the subscriber goal. Sorry, follower goal. We hit at 1,000, but that doesn't mean shit. Are they your fans? They're just lollicons. What? I think there is a, a sinister intent beyond just the party's mascot, but you're kind of there, yeah? Oh, also, fun fact, fun fact. You know how I was like um fixated on what was the hidden implication? of these two because the girl right the girl said hold up i thought you were 17 right so apparently like, oh I, I thought you were old and 17 so at that point i was like what are you implying that you wanted someone illegal but no because the age of consent in japan i think is like 17 or 6 i forget it's something a comment told me he was surprised that they hit the age of consent i think right yeah he expected the guy to be actually like a legal adult, but he was younger. That's why he was surprised. So it's actually not as sus as we expected. That's the explanation. Okay. Pina! Yeah. <laughs> she just started power tripping because she's a dragon tamer? <laughs> this guy, dude. This guy. Oh, we're on the 50th floor? Bro, we're like four episodes in. We've already conquered up to the 50th floor? I thought that this was gonna be a slow ass grind to get to the hundredth floor or some shit, but it's like, what the fuck? What's oh, the MILF again? It's the MILF again! <laughs> the green guy's going like. <laughs> Can't you like the lolly? Listen, the red haired girl probably a bitch, but she's hot. She's kinda hot. Okay. He's a bully. The dragon, not a lizard! You bitch! I can't get over the fucking CGI NPCs in the background. That's actually jarring. Even though they blurred it out, you can totally see how different, like, the three characters in the middle are with the CGI background characters, dude. Uh, she might not, but Kirito will. Mm. Seduced? Nah. She looks like my little sister. Now, is he actually seduced by the fact that she looks like his little sister is a confirmation we don't have yet, okay? I would hope not, but knowing fucking anime and knowing how incest is such a prevalent theme, I'm just saying. I think Bro actually is down bad for his little sister. You, she's talking big. Is she talk? Nah, she's gonna get in the way. I hope we kill this. I hope if there's like a first player we kill, it's that girl today's episode. Actually, it's a VR MMORPG. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Fucking, there's so many toxic people, bro. There's so many toxic people on MMOs. I swear to God, people get off work and then and, and they go on to MMOs not to have fun. They go to MMOs to like 
fucking lash out at others. League of Legends, same thing. Games should be something that you enjoy in your downtime, but there are some people that play games to get fucking mad and lash out at people and just start hating because negative engagement actually makes them feel something, dude. <laughs> yeah, they're just villains for no reason. Hmm? Pureya Kira. Oh, they turn red. Oh. So like, can you hide that too, right? Wouldn't it be like, if there's like a green signal, but it's like they were red, but they were like hiding. So it says green, orange, and red. Red means they've already killed a player. If everyone sees someone that's red, then it's obviously gonna be like, whoa, hold the fuck up, right? And in this game, like, you know, in some games, how there's like actual PVP zones, like, or someone has to accept a duel. In this game, is it, can, can you just like, Start fucking fighting immediately? If I just, if Kirito just like backstab this guy, would he just die right now? Or I'm not sure how that works. Okay. Yeah, people die when they die here. Yeah. Don't go on grabbing his hand. Hey, little sister. Yeah, but they careful now. Careful. The fuck? She's folding. <laughs> She's actually folding. She's straight up. <laughs> maybe she wanted a big bro. I don't know. Who, who am I to judge? But maybe she wants a big bro, man. <laughs> bro, what happened to Asuna? Is Asuna not the main girl? Oh my god, what are we doing? What are we doing right now? I thought Asuna's the main girl, but then we fuck around with Sachi. Now we're fucking around with her little sister. That's not her little sister, but you know. What are, what are we doing? What are we doing? She has no ass, dude. What did you just say? What did you just say? Level 3 train hop, by the way. <laughs> you want to talk to him more? Oh, you do want to talk. <laughs> what are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Careful now, careful now. Or maybe... Mm, I feel like if she ran out, that would have been a fucking power play, right? But I don't know. She does seem to be super into it, though, all of a sudden. Yeah, Tiffany has way bigger cakes than this girl, man. I hope Tiffany's doing okay. Mirage Spear does what? Oh, it's the map of the tower. Spy! Red hair girl! Red hair girl! That was fast. Sounds are supposed to be inaudible across doors unless you knock. Okay, he's got better skills. Red hair girl just got a vendetta for this lolly man. This looks like just like a couple dating resort. Look, they're all just couples here. Let's go save Pina before it's too late. Come on. Wow, you want to date a guy that says he looks, you look like your little sister? Like what? Look at her fix her hair. She's still because very cute, though. She is very cute. Okay. Crystal can teleport. Okay. I mean, the red hair girl's probably gonna show up and she'll probably have to use it. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, this does look like Michan and Hirata in another universe. You're right. Oh. We're not even watching Gushing Over Masco Girls yet. Come on. Like, come on. Like, look, we'll get there when we get there. Are you gonna, are you gonna really give me a tentacle scene? All right, here we go. Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> Sussy. Save me with their eyes closed. Oh? No one saw your panties, don't worry. No one saw it. No one saw it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, she looks just like you. I like her a lot. You, you want to be my little sister in the game too? You want to roleplay? Don't pry into my life, Ayana Koji. What? So, hey, no, 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 no. It doesn't matter if you're a cousin. No, because anime always does this. They all, like, Data Live, for example. Data Live, prime example. It's like, okay, this might be a little bit spoilers, but Data Live is a fucking old ass anime. You have Shido, Itsuka Shido, and you have Kotori. Kotori is our uh, little sister. 
But it turns out she's not her little sister. Psych gets adopted. You know, he's a, she was adopted, so it's like not real sister. So that's a one way of doing like incest. <laughs> you know, it's like a workaround. You know, it's the mental gymnastic. But this is a cousin. It's still blood related. I don't care how far distant you are. Like, okay, Mushoku Tensei. Uh, Rudy and Aerith, they're like really distant cousins, so it's like, ah, they're so distant, it's all right, so maybe that's the, the train of thought they're going with it, all right, whatever. Cousins are legal in Japan. <sighs> just saying, I'm just saying, you gotta be very careful when you're, when you're, when you're breeding within the same genetic pool, dude. Well, little sister... She does, she's actually my cousin. Okay, you distance yourself. Grandfather mentioned? The granny, grandpa just beat your ass? <laughs> Interesting, funny story. Yeah? And then the grandpa beat your little sister's ass too? Okay, little sister's actually kendo master then. Other things she wanted to do. I don't know, I feel like she loves her older bro and want, that's what she wanted to do. Nah, don't feed, don't lie to me, bro. I know you're a fucking siscon, dude. I'm sure she really loves you. Sorry, sorry, Kendo. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Kendo, Kendo, Kendo. This kind of is a therapy session for Kirito, though. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Bruh. Enjoy your dinner plan. And let's get back to SAO. Okay, what's going on? So basically, Kirito is a fucking siscon. And there's this new girl that looks like Kirito's sister, and there's some sussy behavior going on. But there's also this like red hair milf that's like about to attack us, I think. Let's go. Oh, here we go, here we go. Dude, I swear to fucking god, this show, like, we're not even watching Gushing Over Masco Girls yet, but like, already she's got hit by the fucking tentacles, and now what, bro? Now what, dude? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You didn't see, right? You didn't see. Nothing to see, bro. Hmm. We're gonna resurrect Pina? That's right, the whole point is to resurrect our familiar Pina. Our little pet lizard. Sorry, it's a dragon. It's a dragon. Wow. Great. Where's Pina? Nima flower. Surely we can resurrect Pina with this. Surely nothing else is gonna go wrong. I'm just waiting for that red hair milf girl to show up and ruin everything, bro. Here we go, here we go. Here we go! Spy? Rosalia, you're lucky you're so hot. You don't even need the flower! Get out of here! You don't have a familiar to resurrect, do you? Leader of the- Oh! Oh wait, she's a guild leader? Oh, right. oh wait! Cause the indicators, right? Green is like good, orange is like kind of bad, red is like PK. She's our lead of the orange guild though. Ah, uh, let them do all the dirty work and she stays clean with the green. Gotcha, gotcha. She's fucking hard. She's hustle. Oh, 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 oh. One, one, one more time. One, 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 oh, oh, oh. I like the tongue movement. Ooh. Mm. Mm. This is why I like I'm fine with her being so evil because she's so <laughs> I mean she's even holding a fucking spear, you know, it's a little you know Ooh, you can't say that Baka does not mean retarded Yo The subs I chose are wild Yeah this is 2012 though this is 2012! That's crazy! <laughs> this snafu did the same shit? This snafu did the same shit too? Oh my god! <laughs> She's okay! Sure! She's ableist! Yeah, I don't know who silver flags are. I remember those hobos. Yo, she's fucking wild. Huh. Just to prison. I mean, we're not gonna player kill her, right? We're just gonna straight up lock them up. 
It's not like it's been proved that death here applies in the real world too. Now, this is a very interesting uh, statement she's making because Kayaba said in episode one, you die in, you know, in the game, you die in the real world because the nerve cure is like a fucking microwave, right? To pop your head. But then again, have we actually gotten some kind of confirmation? Have we actually had a real person in the game die and then directly being reported into the game that they died outside of the, outside of the game? Not really. We can't check. This is true, right? So this is a very interesting logical fallacy of like, there's no way to check. Like, how do you confirm that God exists? You can't. You can't disprove that God exists, but you can't prove that God exists either. So it's like, I don't, I don't fucking know. Like, you want to risk it? I, I, I don't know, man. Oh, orange players, guys. You want to try? You want to try? What is bro wearing? Listen, 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 listen. The guy in the far right, you know, this guy right over here beside the, the, the red hair girl. Opening the sleeves is a little saucy, but hey, he wants to show off the guns. This is crazy. What is blood wearing on the far right, dude? He's showing all the shoulders, but he's got the fucking, you know, gloves, the long gloves just to show that part. Like his fucking thigh highs and you're showing the fucking absolute territory of his shoulders. And you're showing your abs. Bro got the wrong fucking gear, dude. Alright, Kirito got it. The Black Swordman was the episode title. Kuro no Kenshin. Yo, there's no calling him a beater! Beater, that's her the front I can't get over that fucking word! Because a beater is a beta tester who's a cheater! Kuro no Kenshin! Beta! The clear, the clear group is like the main guild that's clearing everything, right? Oh shit! Oh, I thought we we're gonna PK here. We don't want to turn. Out leveled, out geared. Maybe we don't take any damage. Why would he just stand there? After image, out geared. HP bar. Yeah. Get, get the fuck out of here. We're a beater. Come on now. You do something, bitch. Your DPS whack. <gasps> no, no. Oh, 14,000. Dude, we ought to heal more. 200 more HP than the damage they can fucking do. Maybe if the red haired comes in, they can do more than 600 HP per 10 seconds. Alright. Red girl, come on. Yeah, that's the power of stats. <laughs> oh, he's being super epic though all of a sudden. Oh, right! We're gonna send him to the little prison then. Lock him up! We don't care about a reputation! Oh, kill her! That was fucking cold, dude. That was fucking cold. Look at this. Ooh. It's the soundtrack. I swear to God, the soundtrack just makes it so much more epic. My God, this guy's too cool. <laughs> the lolly is just completely folded now, huh? <laughs> we used her as bait. All right, we're gonna leave and find our legal waifu, Asuna. Right, front lines of the clearing guild, the clearing group. You want to join? Really? She want to confess or what? Uh, like what? Love for a little sister? Okay. Are we going to actually leave this game though and meet her in real life? Now, usually this is like a death flag, but maybe this is setting up something for the future. Who knows? Maybe this is set up. Maybe this is foreshadowing, man. Let's try Pina. Right, right. Pina. Where's Pina? Come on. Imagine this doesn't work. This would be so sad. Why haven't we rezzed her yet? Because we're too busy being down bad for a big bro Kirito, apparently. <laughs> Relax, Oni-chan! God fucking damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is another episode of SAO. Another episode where Asuna is not the focus. What, what the fuck is going on? I, I, we had Sachi last episode. We got fucking. I don't still look at this episode. It, there was some sussy little sister moments, but you know it wasn't 
too bad. And, you know, Kirito was just using her as bait because the ultimate goal was to lock these people up. Kind of interesting to think that people in this game actually just have, like, a job in a jail, in, like, a prison. They just work there. I don't know. What the fuck are they gonna do? I don't fucking know. We don't have to really do, think too deep into that. But another important thing is... We were part of the clearing group. So much time skip is happening. And like, he's in the front lines and he's like the black swordsman, you know? He's a beater, but he's also a black swordsman. So it's pretty interesting how he operates alone, but he's part of the clearing group. Maybe it's like a special contract where he comes and goes as he wishes because of how strong he is. But hey, this is setting up for the future. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And I'll until next time, take care.